This particular flight is carrying some special cargo, the cremated remains of the recently deceased. All new at 11, News 6's Troy Campbell introduces us to families waiting to celebrate the Ascension flight. At the end of 10 years, it'll eventually re-enter the atmosphere and return as a shooting star with all those on board. Michael Dufton says his mother trained with NASA about 60 years ago as part of the first all-female Mercury mission crew, which was eventually canceled over concerns of women in space. She had been invited to participate in that, and that was one of her greatest regrets in life is she never got to go to outer space. On Wednesday, Dufton's mother, along with 46 others, will have their cremated remains launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket attached to a telecommunication satellite expected to orbit the Earth for a decade. Charles Schaefer started the company Celestis in the 1990s and credits Space Innovations for allowing the company to increase their amount of launches from one flight during a seven-year period to five scheduled launches set to take place within the next 14 months. And I like to say that there aren't any other funerals and memorial services that have as much cheering and high-fiving as we do when that rocket lifts off. As part of the package, which starts at about $5,000, 160 people from five countries arrived to Brevard County on Monday to take part in a three-day memorial service for their loved ones, leading up to the launch Wednesday afternoon. Mommy um, wanted to be cremated and sent to space. It was a dream of his. Carrying a framed picture of her son Travis, who passed away a year ago, Melissa Casey arrived from Ohio, sharing her son's story with other families whose loved ones will orbit in space together. He's going to be so proud to be up there hanging out with all these other families and watching over all of us. The company provides families with real-time GPS data for the satellite so they know when their loved one is passing in the sky above them. Once the satellite is finished with its orbit in about 10 years, it is expected to conduct a burn upon re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. In the newsroom, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6.